Mortal Kombat 1 is getting a brand new character. That's right, the actor themselves has confirmed this. So of course we're going to talk about it, but on top of that, we're also going to debunk some rumors that have been circulating online. Because another day means more Mortal Kombat 1 news. I'm covering it all the time on this channel, so if you want to stay up to date, then make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss any future videos. And then after watching, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below, it helps the channel out a ton. And without any further ado, let's begin after a quick word from today's sponsor. Managing your finances can get tricky, and sometimes unexpected bills can sneak up on you. But that's where Dave comes in, the sponsor of today's video. Dave is the banking app that's leveling the playing field. When you download Dave, you could get up to $500 in 5 minutes or less, no credit check and no late fees. It's part of Dave's extra cash account. Advance the money you need with no interest and then settle up later. Extra cash gives you more money to buy groceries, fill up the gas tank, or even pay rent. All without having to wait until your next paycheck. In fact, millions of people have already downloaded the Dave app to make their finances easier. Since 2017 alone, Dave has helped its members avoid over $2.5 billion in overdraft fees. So if you're in a pinch, get the help you need by downloading Dave. Download Dave today at dave.com true. That's dave.com true. You could get up to $500 in 5 minutes or less when you download Dave. No credit check and no late fees. Download the Dave app now or go to dave.com true. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com legal. Eligibility criteria and instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve member FDIC. Plenty of people need financial help from time to time, and Dave is here to help you. I recommend checking them out today. All right, and back to the video. A brand new character is coming to Mortal Kombat 1. That's right, this character has never been playable in any of the past games. Which, on the one hand, is very exciting, because who does not love a new character? But at the same time, it's Netherrealm, and their new characters tend to be hit or miss. However, this new character I find interesting, because she has has actually been in the past games, just never as a playable character, but she's always been mentioned. And that character is none other than Harumi. That's right, Scorpion's wife and dead family member. Pretty much any fan of Mortal Kombat knows Scorpion's origin story, right? His family and clan were killed by the Shirai Ryu led by Quan Chi. But of course, in Mortal Kombat 1, things are different, and this time around, Scorpion is actually Kwai Liang. And as a result, his clan has not been murdered. Instead, he defected from the Lin Kuei and started the Shirai Ryu himself along with Smoke and Harumi. That's right, the two of them are not married yet, but are definitely going to be. In fact, if you watch my previous video, I've already confirmed that the story expansion is going to have a wedding scene. So obviously, you don't have to be Nostradamus to put two and two together, right? It's very likely that Scorpion and Harumi are going to get married in the expansion for story mode in Mortal Kombat 1. But alright, here comes the interesting part. This reveal actually came from the face model herself. That's right, Harumi in Mortal Kombat 1 has the face and likeness of Jiwon Ra. And recently, it was actually her that announced she will be the character in Mortal Kombat 1, and that got everybody talking. Because even though Harumi does show up in the arcade ending, we've never actually seen a 3D model of her character in the game. So now we know two things. Number one, Harumi is definitely going to appear in the game at some point, and she's going to be a fully 3D character. Which is already cool, but not interesting enough, so here's the crazy craziest part. Jiwon Ra, by accident, revealed way more than she was supposed to, and I say that because her Instagram post got taken down. Or rather, it was removed, and very likely by her, because someone told her, yo, you jumped the gun, players aren't supposed to know about this yet, but you know what, it's already out there, everyone's talking about it, so of course I've gotta cover it in my Mortal Kombat 1 news video. Just check out this post, okay? Make sure to pick up hashtag MK1, and pick Harumi as your cameo. Mom, Dad, I'm a badass character, kicking ass and defeating evil, I made it, demon emoji. And of course below that there's a bunch of hashtags and 79 comments before this post got removed. When my buddy first sent me this post, I was skeptical. I was not sure if this was actually posted by Jiwon Ra because you can't actually see the name of the person who posted it, it's cropped out. Or in other words, theoretically anybody could have made this post, but I did some verification with people who I trust that cover stuff like this and they confirmed, yes it's real. Jiwon Ra definitely definitely did post this on Instagram, but it's no longer there because she removed it. But why did that happen? Why would she remove this post from Instagram? There's two possibilities. Possibility number one, she was wrong about being a cameo. That's actually misinformation. Maybe at one point she was meant to be, but then it got changed, and therefore she should not post about this because plans have changed. That's definitely possible, but don't freak out because I think it's way more likely that the opposite is true. She is confirmed to be a cameo character, but the players weren't 
supposed to know yet. For me personally, if I was a gambling man, that's what I would put money on. I think Jiwon Ra is going to play Harumi as a cameo character in Mortal Kombat 1. But then on top of that, I would wager she's also going to show up in the story mode part 2 expansion as well. So with all that in mind, for the rest of this video, let's just confirm that she's going to be in the game. Let's go ahead with that mentality, alright? If it is true that Harumi is going to be a cameo character in Mortal Kombat 1, what does that mean exactly? The worst case scenario is that she's just a reskin of the existing Scorpion cameo, right? Kind of like a mod that you download for PC. In other words, Harumi would not be a brand new cameo, instead she would have the same attacks and moves as the Scorpion cameo, but she would be reskinned to look like Harumi. That's one possibility, but it's the worst case scenario. Some people on social media have pointed out that Harumi is actually a secret fight in invasion mode right now. I'll go ahead and throw it on screen so you can see for yourself, is this how Harumi is going to look as a cameo fighter? No, definitely not. Instead, this character has already showed up in the final chapter of story mode in Mortal Kombat 1. And this character is obviously just Frost, but they changed some colors and moved some assets around. But it's definitely the default Frost cameo character, but they gave her Scorpion's hoodie and changed the color. This is not how Harumi is going to look as a cameo character, certainly not. And we know that because she has a face model for Pete's sake. There's no reason to give her a face model if her head is always covered in the hoodie and mask. So right away, that rumor is already debunked. Harumi is not going to look like this. The secret invasion fight is just a fun little easter egg, nothing more. Once again, I'm a firm believer that Harumi is going to be a brand new cameo fighter playable for the first time ever in the Mortal Kombat series, and then on top of that, I do think she's going to appear in story mode as well because there's that wedding scene. Which leads me to the million dollar question, and I want to know your thoughts on this in the comments section down below. How do you think Harumi is going to be added to the game? Is she going to be a surprise DLC already included in the combat pack? Because don't forget, there's an uneven number of characters. So far in the combat pack, there's six main characters, but only five cameo characters. So what could that possibly mean? Is it possible that Netherrealm is going to give us a surprise DLC character for free if you already purchased the full combat pack? That would definitely be a really nice surprise, and Netherrealm has done something similar in the past with the character Triborg. In the Mortal Kombat X trailer, this character is seen to be Smoke, Sector, and Cyrax all in one. However, when you actually play the character in the game, he had a secret fourth variation where you could play as Cyber Sub-Zero. And not only were his special moves all completely different, but a lot of his normal attacks were new as well, and he got some unique attacks too. So my point is, Netherrealm has done this before. They've included extra characters for free in the DLC packs. It's rare, but it has happened. And as a result, as someone who tries to stay positive, my fingers are crossed that maybe, just maybe, Harumi is going to be a free DLC character included in the combat pack. Because once again, so far, there's only five cameo characters in the DLC, and I'm just saying, who would be the perfect partner for Takeda? Ya girl Harumi. Those two would match up perfectly. But as you all know, I love making these videos interactive, so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about Harumi, and how do you think she's going to be added to the game? Is she going to be a cameo character, and if so, is she going to be a free DLC character with the combat pack, or is she going to be an extra microtransaction on the side? Keep in mind, so far, Mortal Kombat 1 is known for having some pretty greedy microtransactions, so maybe Harumi could be extra, who's to say? The future is never set in stone, and of course anything could happen, but I'm going to personally choose to stay optimistic. However, with all that being said, there is one more possibility that I want to talk about. Since we pretty much already know that Harumi is going to be in the story mode part 2, do you think it's possible that that's when she'll be added to the game as a cameo character? And if that does turn out to be the case, would that imply we're going to get even more DLC characters along with the story mode part 2? I mean that would make sense because that's what happened with Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. Not only did players get a brand new story mode to enjoy and mess around with, but on top of that, you also got some brand new characters to go along with it and those characters featured in the story mode. Well, except the guest characters, because guest characters are never in story mode, and that's going to be the case in Mortal Kombat 1, I believe, as well. I know plenty of you watching want to see Homelander and Peacemaker in the story mode, but I just don't think it's going to happen. No matter what the case may be, I'm just excited to have new characters in Mortal Kombat 1, and I'm especially hopeful that Harumi is going to be free. Another day means more Mortal Kombat 1 news. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below. It helps the channel out a ton. And then finish that combo by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time, and as always, stay.
Underdogs. <laughs>